Welcome to Brain and Blaze, a podcast about epilepsy by epileptics, for epileptics, and their caretakers. I'm your host, David Clifford. Thank you for tuning in. In this, our very first episode, we welcome you to our community by describing some of the basics about finding help. So wait, am I really doing this? I'm not a medical professional. I'm not even a podcaster. I'm just some guy that has been struggling with the ins and outs of epilepsy for almost three decades. I just hope that this podcast can provide insights that listeners just cannot get through existing support structures. I'll be the first one to admit that this first episode might be the little light for some epilepsy veterans. But we have to start somewhere, right? Let's start with the basics. What do you do after you or someone you love has had a seizure? If you're not already working with a neurologist, find one immediately. It might seem obvious, but a lot of people just ignore the problem. A neurologist is the first step in a comprehensive support system. By definition, epilepsy is a generic diagnosis given to patients who have had at least two seizures within a defined time span, usually about six months. There are a lot of different factors that can lead to a seizure. In fact, one out of 10 people will have a seizure in their lifetime, but only one out of 27 people will develop epilepsy. A neurologist uses tools like EEGs, magnetic resonating images, and others to determine if the first seizure is a fluke. If it isn't, the same tools can hopefully be used to find a physical issue that can be linked to the cause of the seizure. I do say hopefully find a physical issue, because a lot of the time doctors just don't necessarily understand why someone is having a seizure. They instead focus on determining a program that will prevent future seizures. For new patients, this can be a little confusing. I know it was when I was diagnosed decades ago. The number one thing to realize is that you are not alone. 1.2% of the population in the United States lives with active epilepsy. That's more than three and a half million people. Approximately 70% of us control their epilepsy through medication. We are doctors, architects, software engineers, teachers, or even celebrities. The other 30% of us struggle with seizures on a monthly, weekly, or daily basis. By the way, I know how confusing the terms we're throwing at you can be, especially if you are new to epilepsy. There's going to be a lot to learn. The definitions, the medications, the processes, the jargon. Don't worry. In later episodes, we plan to help you sort through them as much as we possibly can. Thanks again for tuning to Brain and Blaze. If you like today's show, please help us by giving a five-star rating on iTunes or wherever you download your content. One small click really does help. See you next time.